The most painful lie my ego ever told me was that I am unique. Being applauded is truly an act of ego. My ego would lie to me frequently about how special and unique I am. This lie made me want to get up on stages and show people just how special and unique I am. Then I would get claps and cheers and my ego would say, look at that, evidence that you're so unique and special. The reality is, those claps and cheers were proof that I was surrounded by a supporting community that loved me. Every day that I accept the reality that I am not special and unique, but just another part of a large and beautiful sisterhood, and that we are all very similar and share a lot of the exact same demons and trauma, I heal more. Realizing that who I used to be isn't a villain, and I wasn't a demon, or ever honestly a bad person, is kind of the same realization. All I really needed to see was that my story is so much just like so many people that I have been getting support from in the transgender community. Those of us with a calling to serve, who want to live their life in a way that is dedicated to helping people, are also actually a very large family. And we are all very broken and traumatized people. And that is what is unique and special not my little ego. One of the things I really like about this revelation is knowing that with the traumas that I have faced, there are people out there who are either about to face the exact same trauma or are facing it right now, and simply sharing with them how similar the trauma that I've already gotten past is what they are experiencing or about to experience is a way I can help them in a very beautiful and loving way. I have a dear friend that I've loved my entire life who has been suffering a lot for a very long time, in and out of prison, relapse after relapse, and suffering upon suffering. I knew that it was her court date recently, and there was a possibility she would end up back in jail. So I took the time to call her the day before and spent about an hour sharing my experiences in jail and my experiences with prayer. She expressed so much gratitude that I actually remembered when her court date was, and even though she had just relapsed, that I was right there waiting for her, rooting for her, and eager to give her messages of hope. This re reality is what I want to do for the rest of my life. I want to help people, especially people who are hurting in ways that I've already recovered from. I pray that everyone watching this video that seeks recovery from their pain and their trauma knows that there is support for them if they seek it. And I pray for a peaceful, prosperous, and progressive future for us all. My name is Beth. Please consider liking and subscribing my video.